When an army ant walks on a trail, it always follows the ant in front of it. That's efficient. It gets large groups of ants from point A to point B. But it can lead to a huge problem. If this trail of ants forms a crossway at any point, there's a possibility that they form a circle. That's called an ant mill. Since every ant follows the pheromones of the ant in front of it, there's an endless loop of ants, which they can't escape from. If this happens, the ants walking in the circle are basically doomed. Their instinct tells them to follow the ant in front, doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. Alone, an ant doesn't stand a chance against basically any threat, which is why they always stay in the group. They end up running in circles, until they eventually die from exhaustion. Those ant mills are also not just small either. The first person to report a case of an ant mill was William Beebe in 1921. He saw a circle of ants with a circumference of 365 meters. If an ant walks in a circle this huge, it takes them two and a half hours just to get around one single time. Moral of the story, ants are stupid, don't be an ant.